Our next bout is a super award to contest of our six rounds between Enes Ampa from the Kotoku Academy and Francis Lamte from yeah. the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium. Now, let me acknowledge some very, very important personalities who are here with us tonight. First of all, the Member of Parliament for Oriridu Constituency, the former Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Nilante Van der Poy, is here with us. Honorable, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. Let me also acknowledge the one and only Professor Joshua Alabi, who is now a boxing fanatic. Thank you so much for coming, sir. Let me also acknowledge the presence of Alhaji Abdul Yakim. Alhaji Abdul Yakim, where is he? Alhaji, thank you so much for coming. We also have Thomas Alabi. Mr. Thomas Alabi is also here. Thank you so much for coming. And Dr. Adam. Dr. Adam, thank you so much for coming, sir. We appreciate you. And the president of the Ghana Boxing Authority, Abraham Kote Nikwe. Thank you so much, the indefatigable. His first vice is here, the former boxer, Rabon Dodo. Thank you so much for coming. We also have the man in charge of security for Ghana Boxing Authority, Dr. Daniel Akwete. Thank you so much, sir. Aikwe, thank you so much for coming. We also have Lord Akwe, is the treasurer. Thank you. Now, from the Ghana Football Association, we have the man in charge of marketing. Can we see you? Can we see you? Please put your hands together for the big man from the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Ladim. Thank you so much for coming, and we appreciate you. There's a special guest that I'm going to mention his name after the next fight. Is here with us. It's one of the potential sponsors for this event. I will mention his name. Now, let's get ready for the next bout of the evening. Super Waterwitz contest over six rounds. The referee for this bout is Michael Nikwe. Boxes, NS Ampa from the Akotoku Academy and Francis Lamte from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium. Officials for this bout, Confidence Siagbo, Judge 1, Clement Ashon, Judge 2, and Richard Amivi, Judge 3. Shall please welcome the boxer, Francis Lamte. Let me see your shouting. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest in our midst. This is a boxer who was an amateur boxer in 2012. He represented Ghana at the Commonwealth Games. After the tournament, he came to cross over to professional boxing in 2013. A lot of people never believe in him. And this man went through the process, he went through the meal, and he became a world champ for the Super Bantamweight Division. Fortunately, unfortunately, he was defeated by one boxer from Mexico, Navarrete. And many thought that was the end of the road. He made a huge comeback and he actually won four fights. Recently, he fought against Gonzalez. Many thought that he was going to lose the fight, but he won the fight by split point decision. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, shall we please welcome the boxer, Isaac. The Royal Storm Dogby! Thank you very much, Isaac. We are proud of you. Thank you so much for coming. 
Ghana is proud of you and we appreciate your presence here. So now let's welcome the boxer who is going to fight from the blue corner. Already we have the boxer who is going to fight from the red corner. Let's welcome Francis Lamte. Okay, we are ready for the next bout of the evening. A super welterweight contest over six rounds. And this is a very much anticipated bout. Officials for this bout, Judge 1, Confidence Yagba, Judge 2, Clement Sean, and Judge 3, Richard Amave. Now, introducing the box of fighting now from the blue corner. And this evening, sported in the black and white trunks, black and white shoe, and blue gloves to match. And this is the boxer from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium. And under the tutelage of the coach, who is also known to be called the killer. This is the boxer with the weight of 153 pounds. This is the man who is making his debut today. Shall we please welcome the boxer, Francis Lamte. Switching over to the red corner. And this is the man from the Akotoku Academy. Akotoku Academy is the gymnasium that actually groomed and bred the legs of Azuma Nelson and Ike Bazooka Kote. This evening, sported in the blue and black trunks, blue and red shoes, red gloves to match with the weight of 155 pounds. This is the man with a record of two fights, one defeat and one draw. Presenting to you the man who is born and bred at Akutolante, just like his opponent. Presenting to you the man, Enes Ampa. And the man in charge is Michael Nikwe. All right, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. And whatever I say, must be touch up. God bless. So we're ready for the uh, next bout. It's a super welterweight contest. The schedule for six rounds. Round one. Featuring one debutant. That's the man in your shot. Black Panthers, Francis Lamte. And he's uh, fighting against Ernest Ampa. Our center referee is Michael Nikwe. Super welterweight. It gets heavier as we go higher. Francis Lamte in the uh, white trunks making his debut, keeping his distance quite well, trying to use the jabs to aid in that. Yeah, Lamte trying to use the jab just to get the opening, but good defensive shoot from Enestampa. There again, Enestampa with the block.
Ampa trying to go in through the block. Uppercut, wild miss there from uh, Francis Lamte. And that's where he needs to be careful, Lamte. He throws the left hook and he misses and that counter punch him from Ampa straight into the face. Well, at least of the two, Ampa has a little bit of uh, experience there. He's fought twice, won one and uh, lost one. So obviously building up in terms of composure. Yeah, and again, between the two, no rear guard from Lamte. Two boxers who are coming from uh, James that are reputed to be uh, world champion producers. Yeah, and again, we've not seen too many of the right hands from Francis Lamte in the white and black trunks. Always trying to stick in with a jab and double up with a jab, but it's not working to perfection. And not a very explosive first round from both contestants. Receive <laughs> Seconds out. Round two. Second round of the uh, Super World Away contest scheduled for six. And it's uh, ninth placed Akotoku Academy who are being represented by Ernest Ampa. Ernest Ampa is in the uh, blue trunks. And it's the debutant, uh, Francis Lamte from Black Panthers. They are occupying the sixth position on the Deluxe Professional Boxing League table. So again, nothing really to separate these two boxers. Ampa is the heavier of the two boxers. Ironically, he came in at the weight of 155 pounds. Francis, two pounds short. Or two pounds less. Yeah, and Ampa seems to have the heavier of the punches, but he's not true. So many punches. We've not seen that. He's just trying to counter anytime Lamte misses on a jab. Tries to penetrate through the guard there. And uh, Lamte stands tall. Well, after this bout, we've got uh, other interesting bouts uh, coming up. Don't forget, there's the musical interlude. Just to uh, give more excitement to the fans who are settled uh, here today. Charles Tete David Lamte will be coming up. That's a lightweight uh, bout scheduled for six rounds. And then we also have Gabriel Kofi and Francis Ayi. Once again, don't forget these fights are brought to you by the kind courtesy of IMAX Media Promotions and sponsored by Deluxe Paints, our headline sponsor. We're supported by Renault, Techno Mobile, Max by TCL, and of course, Eddie's Pizza. Yeah, good exchanges from both boxes. 
a while ago we saw that left hook from Ampa Ampa landed some lovely jabs Both boxers obviously being careful, very, being very cautious as well. Carefully crafted boxers with the patience to look for an opening. The uppercut was a wild miss. And the bell saves the day. We buy. Okay, so let's continue with about this round three. Scheduled for six. Still to come. As per the schedule we have, we've got an amateur contest featuring Khan Nikwe and Abdul Mateen Gariba. But of course, two main bouts will also be coming up. Panics will be represented by Charles Tete in the lightweight contest. And Charles Tete will be fighting against David Latte. That will be an interesting bout to see both boxers coming into the ring at the same weight. Yeah. But for now, it's Black Panthers and Nakotoku Academy. Black Panthers occupy the sixth position on the league lock. And Nakotoku, who are ninth, are represented by Ernest Ampa in the blue trunks. And Ampa seems to be the busier of the two missing some jabs as well but it's Francis Lamptey who's looking for the upper cut and anytime he gets into the outside of it he's looking for that right upper cut fights are brought to you by the kind courtesy of IMAX media promotions and sponsored by Deluxe Paints our headline sponsor we're supported heavily by Renault, Techno Mobile, Max by TCL, and of course, Eddie Spitzer. Now, Eddie Spitzer is simply telling you to spice up your weekend by bringing the kids along and they will get free meals. Now, locate Eddie Spitzer at Achimota, East Legon, the ANC Mall, Tema Community 8, Ashaiman, Wager, Accra Mall, Frafraha, Kwabenya, Dan Soman. These are outlets where you can get Eddie Spitzer. Or you can call them on 56 1-1-1-1-1-5-3. Again, 56 1-1-1-1-1-5-3. Yes, you heard me right. The kids will eat at Eddie's Pizza for free. Terms and conditions almost always apply. Eddie's Pizza can't beat that. Yeah, good show from Ampa. Another solid right hand straight to the face of Lamte. And Lamte seems to be under the cosh. He's not throwing caution to the wind. He's not throwing those jabs. He's not connecting as well. Yeah. Previous fights before this brought out a lot of, uh, you know, entertainment and put smiles on the faces of the fans. Not too clear which way this fight is going, but that's a big one from uh, Lamte. And Ampa will be saved by the bell. Yeah, he has the best defense in this bout. He's always 
blocking those shots, those power shots from Lante. Straight into the action. We've done three rounds already. This is round four. It's scheduled for six. Yeah, and another solid jab from Enestampa. No wonder just at the end of that third round. So Francis Lampte bleeding from the nose. Big one to the head there. Nicely done by uh, Lampte. And Lamte trying to add up a little bit of movement in the center of the ring. I'll tell you what, at this stage, Ampa is just trying to be cautious, timing the uh, jabs and the uh, punches. Quick caution there from uh, referee Michael Nikwe. Not a lovely left hook from Ampa landing straight into the chin of Lamte. He's been very good with his guard, Ampa. He throws the left jab and then goes in with the right hand as well. Yeah, being very, very careful there. Good one to the head and another one to the head of Lamte. Yeah, lovely, lovely combination. Another straight hand, straight right hand, I mean, straight into the face of Lamte. And officials of the GBA seated next or close to the ring, watching closely. Judges at ringside for this bout, David Mills, May Mensah Akakbo and uh, Richard Amevi. Keenly contested bouts uh, we've had right from the first bout, which ended in a unanimous points decision win for Sonia's Godwin Tete. Then came up that bout between Eric Kwam and Vincent Atiku. And Eric Kwam pummeled Vincent Atiku till he could take no more.
Round five it is. In this bout, which is scheduled for six. Keenly contested there as a super weight contest. Yeah, good combinations again from Ampa. Yeah, with a body shot and then straight right hand to the face again. And Lamte is not throwing enough punches. He goes for the jab and tries to move around. Oh, he landed a quick one there on the head of uh, Ampa. And Ampa will go straight to the body, try to work it. Some good blocks there from uh, Lamte as well. Close fight it is. This is uh, round five. And uh, hopefully both boxers uh, will go into the sixth and the last round. Opening up and trying to score some uh, technical points as well. And okay, it's now the turn of Ampa to work on the body of uh, Lamte. Lamte is not perturbed, to say the least. Solid right hand from Lamte. Good exchanges so far in this particular round. Sixth round is expected to be explosive. That's when they might probably go for the uh, give and take. The all, the all in all affair. Well, Lampe so is trying to rally back, but obviously, Ampa has won many rounds on my scorecard. Another solid right hand from Ampa again. Took a bleeding from the uh, nose. Right about the third round. Lamte tries to fight back. Saved by the bell. Touch gloves time for both boxers as they go into the last three minutes of this bout. Francis Lamte in white and it's Ernest Ampa in blue. Yeah, he's just trying to rally his fans, Francis Lamte. But he needs to throw punches. Yeah. He's at the receiving end.
Ampa comes in close, gets to the chin. Wild left miss from uh, Lamte. Yeah, and Lamte, not a very good counter puncher. While ago, you saw Ampa connecting very well with the left hook. Ernest Ampa representing Akotoku Academy. Out of the 10 fight nights, they've won three bouts, drawn two. Yet to record uh, a knockout. Later on tonight, we also have the musical interlude, and I'm sure the crowd would go into a frenzy when Gus Miller steps up into the ring. And apart from that, the other key bouts uh, coming up, we're going to see for the very first time, David Alate is going to make his debut in the ring tonight. He comes into the ring at a weight of 138 pounds. He will be taking on Charles Tete from the Panix Boxing Gym, another boxer who comes in pretty much at the same weight. Oh, connected nicely there, Lamte. Yeah. Lovely left uppercut. Just look at Ernest Ampa trying to rally back. Gradually getting to the end of the uh, bout. And Ampa has suddenly changed to a southpaw. <laughs> Tactics must change. Another lovely right hand. Straight to the face of Francis Lante. Nothing really oh. to separate the two boxers, but Ampa did well. Great shot. Connects once lovely. again in the third. The gum is out. Lovely. But again, let's give credit to uh, Francis Lamte. He is not shaken. There are no visible signs. Yeah, he's, he seems to have a good chain. Very solid chain from Lamte, but just look at the skill. Let's look at the combinations. Landed most of the punches, and it's good to see Enesaka ending that bout in a brilliant fashion. Well, listen, gentlemen, shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? It was an amazing fight, amazing fight. We are now waiting for the verdicts, and all of us will know the verdicts. After the verdict, we have another juvenile fight between Khan Nikwe and a boxer from the United Kingdom is one of the fight all of us are waiting for. Khan Nikwe is the son of the GBA president who wants to be a boxer and become a world champion in future. So we'll be getting there. Now we have the verdict. Okay, here we go. Judge one scored about 60 to 55. Judge two scored about 58 to 55. 
and Jet 3 scored about 58 to 55 by a unanimous point decision. Presenting to you the winner for this very interesting fight. Please welcome the boxer from the Akutoku Academy, Enes Ampo! Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Enes Ampa, for winning. Now, Enes, 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 congratulations, Enes. Tete. Thank you very much. NS Ampa is the winner. And so we are getting ready for the next juvenile fight but we have special guests here with us our brothers who were far away in Birmingham to represent Ghana they've added medals for Ghana and today we have them here with us we'll be talking to them very soon but let me acknowledge these personalities we have in our midst Sultan Adamu Mohammed Zango chief of Berima Lafa thank you so much for coming Mrs. Cecilia Chikata, Deputy Constituency Women's Organizer, Weja and Bawe. Let me also acknowledge the presence of Niama Ashon Katai, PRO and Sponsorship Manager, Bert Power. These are the sponsors of Ghana Premier League. Thank you so much for coming. Mr. Kofi Aye is the CEO, Brand Anchor. Thank you so much, sir. And the man who is in charge of marketing at Ghana Football Association. Jamil Murabi, thank you once again for coming. Ni City Bay, Blema Ayawaso Noya Manche, Asafoche, Ni Kojo Kwaude Ted Domabra, thank you so much for coming, gentlemen. Now we are getting ready to go. Nana Prempe is the man we call the British man, is the head of sports at XYZ.